Welcome friends. Now we in previous session we see how we have taken the earth resistivity and uh, what is the method of taking earth resistivity and putting it on the chart. Uh, later on you can put this earth resistivity on a software and use the software is doing yes other things for you. So uh, uh, the software we are using is CDEGS. So a top of line grounding analysis software CDEGS which is multi ground and auto grid pro by Dr. Farid uh, Dewalbi, Safe Engineering Company Limited, Montreal, Canada. Inputs to which uh, are provided. So, in our uh, starting calculations, we have to provide that uh, which software we are using. So, was used to determine the most suitable modern uh, soil model for the above mentioned site reading and consequently come up with the profile of touch and step potential. So it's a basically uh, it is doing everything rest of the things are automatic it is automatic calculated by the software so if you are doing it manually it is a really a tough task and can take a lot of time. So as per TSP 119 10 plus 6.24 soil resistivity value should be less than 500 ohms per meter if percentage difference between maximum and minimum value is greater than 30 percent. Uniform soil assumption cannot be used. In such case, a software shall be used to simulate two layer or multi layer model. So, here the resistivity. Uh, the TESP is basically is a standard of the local utility in a, in a country and this country is de uh, defining that soil resistivity should be less than 500 ohms per meter. So this uh, value you need to put in the software and then software based on this uh, parameter uh, should uh, provide the resulted design. So uh, as I told you earlier that uh, the behavior of the soil was that at different places it has different patterns. So it means that uh, software will automatically simulate different layers, multi-layer model and it will calculate the uh, requested calculation. So cumulative model of all sounding uh, locations can be represented by a resultant curve and respective layer resistivity and thickness is shown in the attached file. So this is basically the outcome which is showing inter electrode spacing in meters apparent resistivity ohm per meter. So it is showing something like uh, measurement method that is used here is Werner. Werner is uh, Werner Weidmuller is a very famous method that is used to do the calculation RMS error is 31.86 percent layer numbers are mentioned here uh, air infinite infinite then we have layer number two and layer number three and it has provided the thickness of layer and the resistivity is calculated so this is basically the curve that we have obtained after we are putting the data. So this is basically the design software, little introduction, the earth design software. Let me show you the website for the software. So here you can see the website of the software. So mm, this software is from uh, SES Tech and you can see this is the CDEGS software they have provided. So the most powerful and accurate site of commercially available grounding earthing and electromagnetic analysis software package on the market. So it has a complete array of auxiliary software tools are included in the CDEGS suit to complete complement support and enhance the method used to solve various problems including grounding, electromagnetic interference, electromagnetic field, transients, phenomena that can be tackled by CDEGS. So if you have an interest in the software, uh, you can give me your feedback 
I will prepare another uh, training session on it or showing you the detail however I have included uh, one introductory uh, video which is just explaining uh, briefly about the software so here you can see uh, it you can download from here this is single user license agreement so we can see also what does it it so you can see there are different software packages available in this one competition module included package so you can check yourself uh, which one suits you so we will now go back so it's taking some time now So basically uh, CDEGS means current distribution electromagnetic interference grounding and soil structure analysis. So it is it is a software which has integrated software in it. It has many software within a software. So you can see variety of advanced solver provide adopted approach to your problem. This is a maximal equation, circuit based analysis. You can see this one also finite element methods. Uh, then we have inversion logarithm, phosphory transformer transit analysis. You can do in this hybrid method. You can create graphics, uh, and it has many other applications. This is just for your interest. I'm showing you the software. So this software is really strong. So you can see when you will access the computation module and software tools through flexible focus CDG software. You can see uh, this is the main software in, in which you have the more modules like uh, RESAP, MLT, MLZ, SPLITS, Trollin, HIR, high frequency, FCT dis distance. Uh, FFT SES so it has uh, many software within the software in the main package so you can see you can do for example multi lines you can do the line parameters in it so if you are interested I can show you how the calculations can run in it so here you can see I was given example of multi layer so it has calculated three years one is uh, layer one then another one is layer two then we have a layer three so uh, you can see they are showing backfill layer they have done the backfilling and then there it is calculating the backfilling as 50 ohms per meter so this software can basically do the calculation of multi-layer very easily so i hope you like this lecture and i have also included one introductory lecture from another uh, from the which is explaining cdg software so i i, I you can also have a ses software demo from here so let's click it So you can download the demo and you can work on it uh, for a certain time with certain specific features. So thank you very much. This was the introduction about the software package.